What you guys got another video here for you. Now we've all deleted photos by mistake or data by mistake. And if you've done that, then this video is for you. I'm gonna show you how you can recover them with Wondershare Recover It. Now this is a sponsored video. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can recover data from an SD card. Now this can be a camera that you've got and you've actually deleted those files by mistake and now you want to recover them and that's what I'm going to show you here. Now you can use this software also on USB flash drives. You can also recover data on external drives, solid state drives, hard drives, any sort of drive which is storing data you can recover data from it. So I've got a drive here which is an SD card and I've got it plugged into an adapter so I can plug it into the computer and you can see here I've got a bunch of images on here. I want to show you how you can recover these. So I'm going to delete them from this uh, flash drive. This is an SD card, 128 gigabyte uh, micro SD card, and I'm going to delete all of these and then remove them from the recycle bin. And I'll show you how you can easily recover them with this particular type of software. Now this type of scenario is very common and people sometimes delete data by mistake and then they don't know how to recover it. And that's what I wanna show you here. So let me just quickly highlight all of these files here and it will delete them from the micro SD card. So you're gonna delete these 90 files. And then I'm going to head up to the recycle bin and empty the recycle bin so it's fully deleted on this uh, machine and also on this uh, micro SD card. Okay, so we've got everything removed from that card. So it could be a scenario what's happened to you. And we're going to be using Recover It Date Recovery Software. Now you can download this for free and it recovers up to 100 megabytes of files without, without subscription or paying for the actual program. It also recovers data from hard drives, SD cards, external USB drives, etc. It recovers deleted and lost photos, videos, documents, email files, and just about any other file. You can recover files on every version of Windows and even Mac, and you can see here if the files have been deleted, you can recover them. You can recover them on an SD card, partition recovery, hard drive recovery, and photo recovery. You can do just about anything you want with this particular type of software. We're gonna be doing recovery on an SD card here, and it will cover all types of data on storage media. So all types of different documents, as you can see here, different extensions, different types of photos, uh, different extensions for photos, also, we've got other different extensions for movies and videos and other file types. We've got emails, all different extensions for those and audio files as well. So the software is pretty powerful at recovering all different types of uh, file types. So this is the software here and I'm going to go ahead and install it on the computer. So let's go ahead and uh, hit install and we'll get this installed on the computer. Now I'm going to be trying to recover data on a micro SD card from a camera. And what I'm gonna do is basically plug that micro SD card into an adapter, which uh, has a USB connection on the end of it, and then plug that into my computer. And so I can then try to scan that micro SD card and then try to get the data back. Now I've used a lot of, of data recovery software over the years and some are better than others so hopefully this will do a job that I'm asking it to do and recover those files with ease so let's go ahead and get this finished off it's now done and we can now start uh, the program up by clicking start now once we've got this open it will open up a window to tell you how much the software costs if you need to uh, recover more than 100 megabytes of size it gives you the price point here so you can then work out uh, what sort of price you need to pay to get that data back now that's a small price to pay if you've got say for instance a gigabyte of data which is precious photos and music or whatever it is that you've got and you want to try to recover it so that's the old purpose of this particular type of software so now you've got a choice to uh, select your hard disk which I don't want to do on my local disk. I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to be doing this external device, which is called Photos. This is a 128 gigabyte micro SD card slot plugged into an adapter in my computer. You can also select your recycle bin desktop or select a folder. 
and down the bottom we can recover from a crashed computer and we can also do video repair here that's more the advanced option so we're going to click start here and let this go and scan that drive so you can see here we're starting to do a scan of that drive here and these are the files that it's found already as you can see very quickly it's found some files on that particular micro SD card that I'm running a scan on and I'll just let this scan run now you will see up the top here uh, the amount of percentage that is done and the files that it's finding on that particular type drive it needs to go through and scan all of the sectors on that drive so you can see here file path and file type and you can pause it and stop it and uh, there's a little preview window on the right hand side here as well now we're still in free mode here you've got your language here and there's a bunch of other settings inside here which you can mess with contact us user guide disk tools also log files check for updates and the about page so that's up the top there so let's take a look on file type here so when we click on file type you can see here it's doing a scan for certain file types you can see it's finding on the photo side of things it's found png jpeg gif and also svg and bmp now also in that column which is broken down into categories photos we've also got video audio documents email database web files also archive and no extensions now if you're looking for a particular type of file you can actually click on these files and it will give you a preview of the actual file and you can see here it shows you the size of the file and the type of file and the date modified you can see now i can uh, look at the pictures on the right hand side and if you're looking for a particular type of photo maybe wedding photos holiday photos and stuff like that you can click on here and then identify them very quickly and then recover these files by putting the ticks in and then clicking on recover it's that simple so let me go ahead and go through here and what we'll do is we'll start selecting some of these files for recovery now these are the files that i just deleted on that uh, micro sd card so you can see it has detected them and it has found them now you'll notice there's two types of files there there is a jpeg file and a png file one of them is smaller than the other so you've got a choice to recover which one you like here so i'm going to go ahead and uh, start to put some ticks in here and recover these so let's assume you found all the files that you want to find on that drive you can actually pause the scan and then recover those files if you want to so let me go ahead and click pause here and i'm going to start putting some ticks in the files that i did just delete so i can recover them so i'm going to quickly uh, put the ticks inside here and you can choose which ones you want so i'm just going to go ahead and tick these now again you can select all of these if you want you can do a preview of the actual file in a bigger window here so you can see what the quality looks like so i'm going to go ahead and tick all these up and get them recovered so once you've got all of your selected files ticked you can hit the recover button and this will then give you the option you can see here it's basically saying you can still recover up to 100 megabytes of files and after that you will have to purchase uh, an essential license a standard license or an advanced license so depending on which one you want you can just click on recover and if it's only a small amount of files you can use it for free you can now select where you want to save those files so i'm going to go ahead and click on my computer users and then go to my user account and then i'm going to put it inside my documents but you can put it just about anywhere you like i'm going to make a new folder here i'm going to call this recovered like so and then once we've got this uh, typed out how you want it you can put the time or date or whatever you want to put in there and hit recover and uh, once you've done that it will start to recover those files that you've ticked and there we are they're put in that folder and we can now go into this folder here and this should show us we're in documents and recovered and there is all our data recovered and again you can click on these and view them in a larger size let me just quickly go up and get these in a larger format so you can see them more clearly and these are all the files that i deleted and it was very quick and easy to do and i can click on these and you can see they all work there's no uh, corruption there they work perfectly fine and they've been recovered 100 and again 
these are just being recovered off of that micro SD card. Now, if this was a USB flash drive or an external drive or a computer drive uh, and stuff like that, you can recover data. It don't just have to be uh, photos. It could be documents. It could be emails. It could be just about anything, video files, whatever it is you want to recover you can use recover it to get that data back and you can see it works pretty well and I'm pretty impressed with the way it recovered them so far so just goes to show you that this software does work pretty well now you can see here on the computer the actual micro SD card slot is still empty and the recycle bin is still empty as well this has recovered it from the actual micro SD card itself and recovered it and put it onto now my computer so I've had many people ask me about data recovery. We've had people on our Discord server asking about how to recover their files, and that's basically how you can do it. Now, this video has been sponsored by Wondershare Recovery. I just wanted to give you a full disclosure, but you can see the program works pretty well, and I'll leave all the information in the video description. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.